from our downtown Lancaster Library, and I am sharing today one of my favorite books. It's called Falling for Rapunzel. The author is Leah Wilcox, and it was illustrated by Lydia Monks. And I'm not just going to read it for you today, I am going to act it out with the help of some of my friends here at the library. Um, I will be playing the prince and the narrator. Um, my co-worker, Miss Bev, who you can't see, is playing the part of Rapunzel, and our wonderful videographer is Miss Shannon. So sit back and enjoy the story, Falling for Rapunzel. Once upon a bad hair day, a prince rode up Rapunzel's way. From up above, he heard her whine. Upset her hair had lost its shine. He thought her crying was a plea and sallied forth to set her free. Alas, she was too far away to quite make out what he would say. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. She thought he said, your underwear. No, Rapunzel, your curly locks. Rapunzel threw down dirty socks. Please love just your silky tresses. She thought he asked for silky dresses. In lace and frills up to his head, the prince's cheeks were blushing red. Rapunzel, do you have a rope? Rapunzel dropped a cantaloupe. It burst in pieces on his head. Oh, bad catch, Rapunzel said. Perhaps, besides, this is a test, and bound by love did not rest. Okay, Rapunzel, how about twine? She heaved out her blue ribbon swine. By now the prince was feeling hammered, not to mention less enamored. He growled up, do you have a ladder? Rapun Rapunzel tossed out pancake batter. It covered him from head to toe. She yelled. It's better put, you know. At this, the poor prince had a cry. <laughs> <sighs> then he cupped his hands for one last try. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your braid. Confused Rapunzel pushed out her maid. The maids fell squarely on the prince, quite pleased with this coincidence. She nimbly jumped up off his lap and soon revived the flattened chap. Then smiling said, for what it's worth, you'll find I'm really down to earth. His young heart thrilled, he gave a hoot, cause what was more, the maid was cute. She set the prince upon his steed, then leapt aboard. With graceful speed and leaning close so he could hear, she whispered something in his ear. I fell for you when we first met. He nodded. How could I forget? Rapunzel watched them ride from sight. I'm glad I finally heard him right. I hope if they come back for more, they'll think to knock on my back door. All right. I hope you enjoyed our production of Falling for Rapunzel. This kind of book is what we called, call a fractured fairy tale. Um, you take a traditional folk tale or fairy tale and you tweak it and you change it just a little bit to make it funnier or maybe scarier or to make it longer. There's all sorts of different ways that you can play around with fairy tales and they're all a lot of fun. So like I said before, Falling for Rapunzel is one of my favorites. Uh, if you were looking for other versions of Rapunzel, maybe more traditional ones or different versions of fractured fairy tales, feel free to check out our Hoopla 
um, service on our website. Um, you can get ebooks and audiobooks off of Google. You can download them directly to your advice or your device, or you can put fairy tales on hold for curbside pickup, whichever works for you. But you didn't come here today just to get a really funny story. You came here today because of our grab and go bags. So this week's grab and go bag is Rapunzel. Let's take a look at what's inside. We have a paper towel holder. We have a fun little paper craft that you can color in and cut out and tape up to make a little chameleon like Pascal from Disney's Tangled. Let's see, you also have some construction paper shapes. The instructions for Pascal. The instructions for our challenge today. Straws. Rapunzel. Pipe cleaners. And a little cup with some string. So the idea is, is that this is your tower that Rapunzel is stuck in. You can dress it up however you'd like, maybe put on a roof, maybe cut her out a window, or glue on a, a window from your construction paper, whatever you like. You can decorate it with markers, with string, with, other, with whatever you've got lying around the house. And then, once the tower is de decorated to your heart's content, you get to the challenge portion. Now, the challenge is, how will Rapunzel, all by herself, get out of her tower? Because she doesn't need a prince to rescue him this time. How is Rapunzel going to build herself an escape route? You can use what's in your bag. You can also use whatever you have lying around your house. You can use... Legos, building blocks, whatever you like. You can make a slide, make stairs, make a volcano that pops her out like a fork from a geyser, whatever you like. I know some of you like examples, so I have here what I made the other day. I got so excited about the building part that I kind of skipped the decorating part, which is also completely all right. And I made a little pulley system for Rapunzel to get out from the top of her tower. So there's all sorts of things you can do to help Rapunzel craft an escape route. We would love to see what you do at the end. If you could email us, the Email address is on your instruction sheet. If you could email us a picture of your completed tower and escape route, we would absolutely love to see it. And above all, I hope you all have a wonderful time making it. Have a great day, guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye!